Hey y'all, hey, it's time for another video today. So I know a lot of y'all are like, uh, I don't sew, but I just like to listen to you talk. So me, 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 ta-da. I am going to show you guys how to make this bath wall. Now I ain't gonna even lie to you. When people be touching me, they be like, oh, your skin's so soft. I'm like, oh, it's cocoa butter. But it's really not cocoa butter. It is actually this little magic in a bottle. <laughs> like a genie in the bottle. Oh, y'all knew I was gonna come up with some song somehow, some way. But anyway, this stuff, and it lasts a while, like this bottle that I use, oh, I feel like I'm so far away. Like I need y'all to understand how far the camera is. Like, hello, reach out and touch someone. No, but anyway, seriously, this stuff is, oh, I can't even tell you about how many oils in it, but of course your main ones are coconut, and olive oil and as I always say if you're allergic to one of those you can definitely alter or add more olive or add more coconut you know what I'm saying so do as you please but the point of this is to just have this magic in a bottle like this stuff I'm seriously telling you guys I have seen a difference in the smoothness of my skin and then I'm gonna also show you guys right now how to use it so when you're in the shower I'm gonna go with my hand hold on I'm back I was gonna show y'all my body, but we don't know each other like that just yet. So, let me show y'all this real fast. So, ooh, hold on. I ain't never did nothing this close. So, you put a little, oh my God, that's a lot of oil. It's a lot, a lot of oil. So, you'll rub that in like so. I'm just gonna put, cause I had washed my hands and I didn't, so I'm gonna show you all. So once you rub that in, you have two options. Don't talk about me, I ain't do my nails. But you have two options from here. You can either let yourself air dry and just run around the house bucket naked. I got a camera, so that's not possible. I mean, it is possible because I've done it. I'm like, oh, shit. I hope nobody else got my cameras because that, yeah. Because I shall be twerking in a nude. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you can either let this dry or if you do, if you are in a, in a rush or whatever, as not even if I'm in a rush, I just prefer to pad dry. So I'll take my towel and just simply pad dry. And then what you're letting that oil do is just really... Just get into your skin or whatever to where, I mean, guys, look and look at the moisturization. Look at that. I said, girl, the oil is glistening all over your body. <laughs> anyway, guys, so if you're interested in seeing how I make this amazing genie in a bottle, no, magic in a bottle, because that's what it is. Keep watching. Oh, why do I always forget this? Guys, hello, welcome. Y'all new to the channel. What's up? What's up? If you're not, y'all, remember to, oh wait, no, if you're not new, then you already probably subscribed because that's why you bet. But for the rest of y'all, hey, welcome. I am Trinity, owner and founder and designer of Nomelia Designs, where this channel is full of everything that you want. And if, if not, I mean, you can just pretend that it's full of everything you want. It's fine. <laughs> but anyway, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so we can, ew, 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 ew. ew. All right, stay tuned for the oil. All right, guys, so the first oil is the argan oil, which is really high in omega fatty acids, vitamin E, and a lot of stuff that'll soften your skin and help with dry patches and even can help with acne. I'm not gonna lie, with rosehip oil, I was like, is it for my hips? Like, what's going on? But rosehip oil actually helps with anti-aging and like wrinkles and stuff like that. And it's also very good with moisturization. Jojoba oil is another one that's going to also be good with helping with acne, uh, psoriasis, and all kind of other skin issues. Now, this one is actually good with helping to reduce joint inflammation, ease stress, and actually relieve uh, what you call it stuff, hip pain and stuff. Well, just pain in particular. So these are the two cups that I'm going to be using. And then I don't know why I was showing these cups before I showed, okay, y'all already know what olive oil is good for and coconut. Coconut oil has so many fatty acids. It is amazing. Avocado oil. Now, why are you going to go back to the coconut oil? We was done talking about it. It's really good for everything. You can eat it. You can do everything. Avocado oil helps with the absorption of the other oil. So it just kind of helps and it's great to cook with. So if you can't do the other two, this one is amazing. Okay, almond oil is actually really good with the moisturization of the skin. It helps protect with stretch marks and it protects your skin from sun damage. Ooh, so basically we got like a SPF, like fake thing. Anyway, you'll need a bottle of course and a funnel. And I actually did go ahead and on and melt my um, coconut oil. One thing you can do is just throw it in the sun because I know everywhere is hot as hell right now. 
So you going I got some other oil left over and I know y'all don't think I'm about to get rid of my oil because that ain't happening. So let me tell you, this oil probably lasts at least a month or so. I mean, because if, if you saw at the beginning, it really spreads. So you don't need to like sop your body up like a biscuit because baby, like you are really going to be like for real, like slip and slide greasy. And I mean, I get it. You want to be moisturized, but now you're going too far. So you'll take your funnel and then we're just simply going to go through these oils like quick, fast and in a hurry. So of course, first I'm going to be using the, what is that girl? What is that? The cup of the coconut oil. None of these measures measurements have to be followed directly because you can decide like, hey, you know what? I'm going to need a little bit more of that rose hip so you can do an extra couple drops of that or whatever. But it is to your discretion. The only thing I'm doing is showing you how I measure it. And I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes I'll do this oil and I'll be like, man, just throw that stuff in the bottle quickly, expeditiously, and most of all, professionally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My only suggestion is that the first two oils you put in is your olive oil and your coconut oil because those are the ones that are your base. So you want those two oils to go down and mix and get to know each other better. <laughs> Click like what you do. You swipe right on me. Come on, olive oil. Swipe right on coconut. Okay. They about to have some things, so whatever. But because those are your two main ones, those are the ones that you want to fill up first. That way you're not using too much of the other oils. Now the avocado, I also use, uh, is that a one third? I'm going to be honest with y'all. I think that's my one third. And the jojoba oil, you're just doing a couple of little drops like that. Rose hip, you're going to do 10 squirts of the rose hip. Um, the almond oil, I think I did the tablespoon. I did. I need a tablespoon. Now, again, you can use more of this as you want. Teaspoon for the argan oil, eucalyptus. I think I did 40 drops because I wanted that smell to just really get all up in there. Because, baby, again, when I get out, people be like, ooh, you smell good. <laughs> See, y'all, I mean, how fast is that? You shake that thing up like a salt shaker and, baby, Put it in your shower. You ready to go? One thing I need to tell you guys is not to worry about those little speckles of the coconut oil because when it's in your shower, it'll start to melt on its own and somehow they just all come together as one. Now, I do sometimes, well, no, all the time, take it and shake it up before I use it while in the shower. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And don't ask me a year from now, what you do to your skin, Trinity? I just showed you everything.